Starling's Log 210821.6 After a positively blissful night's sleep at anchor, I woke up feeling refreshed and ready for more adventure. Every morning so far on Sophisticated Lady, Alex and I have been woken up by Tiki's chirps and songs. She was always providing the soundtrack to our sunrises. On this particular morning, I walked out onto the bow to see only other boats around me. It's so different than being in a marina where there can be so many people around and very close to you. And many times, boats in marinas are undergoing construction of some kind, so you can be bombarded by the sounds of whirring machinery. As this was my very first time at anchor, I was particularly captivated by the predominance of nature sounds. Both Alex and I are very shy people and prefer quiet, so it was the first time since joining Sophisticated Lady that I felt myself finally relax and come out of my shell a bit more. It was such a magical feeling, looking out on the calm water, feeling the morning rays of the sun kiss my skin. As I sipped my tea and looked out at the water, I started thinking about the day ahead. It was going to be a big day. I had some tasks to do with Maddie, and I was very much looking forward to getting to know her more and learning more about her love of the ocean and sailing life. We were also planning on meeting up with our friends on our buddy boat Ipanema at a local Thai restaurant. What a day it was going to be. Unfortunately, nature had other plans. With pouring rain, we would have to put our projects on hold. <laughs> uh, we got our buddy Mayo here. He's been helping cleaning the sides of the boat and maybe do the underside. <laughs> Careful, you're going to get wet, man. <laughs> yeah, Tiki. Okay. She doing the dance. She doing the rain dance. Poor guy, the water's coming off our solar panels, dripping into his canoe. <laughs> as fast as he's pumping it up. Oops. <laughs> but it looks like it's gonna rain. Yep, might as well batten down the hatches. I think we're stuck for a while. <laughs> Speaking of batting down the hatches, we forgot this one and this one. And it arrived just in time for lunch. It's gonna make the dinghy ride really fun. Yeah, our dinghy excursion. I think just got put on hold for a few minutes at least. But what about our reservation? <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll probably hold it for us, hopefully. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is quite the downfall. Yes, it is. It's coming down. Oh, well, dry in here for the time being. Very nice. Yeah, you ready? It's time to go on our dinghy ride. Oh, look, uh, better <laughs> than these. I don't need to wet my clothes and nothing. Oh, you're already wet, so it don't matter now. Yeah, for this. I told nice. Mayo, you better get out of the water or you get wet. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, our lunch. Oh, well, the video's finished, so it's just finished uploading now. Now, we wait. Actually, when it rains, we get to work. I was going to help Maddie write all of the names of their patrons on their pirate flag. They were planning on hoisting the flag on their sail from Panama to San Andres.
and one lucky patron would win that flag. It was a great way to spend some time with Maddie and bond over work together. We ended up writing hundreds of names on that flag. Look at that. <laughs> Wait one hour and we have sunshine again. Uh, crew is in the dinghy. Guess what? We have lunch plans. <laughs> We're going over with our friends. They're just going back to their boat for a second, but uh, Jose and Magnolia have invited us to go along with them to a restaurant, which is down the coast there somewhere. We don't know, but it's a dinghy ride. So we're gonna go check that out. Apparently it has good Thai food, which we haven't had in a long time, so that sounds great. I think Madeline is just about ready. I just need my shoes. You guys are all good, I guess. Oh, all yeah. good. Ready to go? We've okay. got our appetites and everything. You wanna fire up the motor? Gotcha. Por favor. <laughs> yeah, watch those elbows, eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good, good. And you can see how the little generator becomes a fixture as soon as we're living at anchor in Panama. <laughs> Incoming boat. Okay. Hey, you didn't clean anything on the bottom of the boat. It looks the same. Yeah. I thought that's what he was working on. Oh, yeah, I move all the blue. You saw? All the blue? You saw? And here comes Jose and Magnolia. The only thing not gone is the dirt. It's very dirty. Oh. It's doing nothing. Ciao, Tiki. We'll be back soon. We made the pink flower. How much was that job? No, I gave it to him at fifteen dollar, but. Uh, no, plus the 20 I gave him the other day. Got 20 there for check the mold. It's uh, too much. A nice house. Look uh -huh. at that. Wow, look at you have the, the house inside the, the channel. Oh, the oh, swing is cool. Yeah, that's cool. The swing is cool. Got their own boat channel. Maddie had heard about this Thai restaurant in Portobello that served up pad thai and curries that were apparently so delicious it would be a sin to pass through this area without stopping in. Perhaps it sounds odd that we were all craving pad thai in Panama, but trust me, it was well worth it. Yeah. You gotta watch out, that looks like quite a speed bump right ahead of us. Yeah. Old wrecker is a concrete. Oh, be careful, huh? Being from New Orleans, I know that the way to a person's heart is through their stomach. Feeling still a bit shy, I knew that all six of us sharing food together would give me an opportunity to share a bit more about myself and learn more about these wonderful and new friends. That's really a big part of why I'm loving this journey of making a YouTube channel. I find that making these videos helps me overcome my shyness and helps me face my fear of breaking the ice. Yeah, remember these areas are surrounded by reefs and there's no waves yeah. today, so we got to keep an eye out for them. We need to stay behind him. He just be here. Good job, Pandelina. What? 
to come up from the oh, yeah. yeah. I was kind <laughs> of Thank you. <laughs> that is very high. I make a tournament in, in, in uh, Linton Bay. I think so. <laughs> it's I like know. I climb me all the time. <laughs> I like to use these videos as an opportunity to come out of my shell. Not only that, I'm so grateful that this sailing lifestyle and making these videos has given both of us the chance to meet some incredible and fun-loving people. Anything for the shot. Yeah. Now, when you went around our boat like that in circles, was that telling us that it was not nice what I did to you? When I, when I, said, I was trying to get a good shot. No, I was just getting a good shot too. Ah, okay. For a bit too fast the first time, that's why I slowed down the second time. I thought it was very nice. <laughs> Sorry guys, but I think you know what that means. <laughs> Lunch time, gotta go. After an amazing meal, we come back to the boat to take in the sunset. As we've learned about living with other vloggers, you never miss an opportunity to film a good moonrise. Hey, who are you stowaways hanging out here? <laughs> uh, you see nothing. <laughs> You're right, you're kind of a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious. Mysterious? Here's you filming me. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Here's you having a very much clearer image than I do. <laughs> you know, it's a very cool sunset though, huh? Eh? Yeah. yeah. And the mar sunrise on the other side. Our moonrise on the other side. Yeah, yeah. It's a beauty. Gorgeous. I love it on the water. Oh, mm -hmm. Everybody feel me. <laughs> How can you not? <laughs> it's, and it's Portobello, that's the kicker. It's like, holy cow, we haven't seen weather this nice in so long. Uh, yeah. We really lucked out today. It did hit us with a few showers, but this yeah, makes up for it. Time. Yeah. yeah. Nice it under the rain. It redeemed itself. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 